G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Japanese Castle Explorer video. Thank you for joining me. Now, um, it's been a long time. The last video I did was Nagoya Castle. During that same trip to Aichi Prefecture, I went to Inuyama Castle and there's the brochure. Pretty simple brochure and it's a special castle actually because um, that main tower is one of just 12 that was built you know, during the samurai age. There's plenty that have been built since, you know, in modern times, concrete reconstructions and whatnot. But um, this one is wood and built traditionally and um, old, damn old. Not the oldest, there's a bit of controversy there. Some people say it is, but um, it was apparently disproven in 1965 that this was the oldest. Huh? Yeah, yeah it was proven that it was not the oldest <laughs> in 1865 due to some other boring things, which I won't go into. Now, um, the castle existed in several forms from uh, the, what the mid-late 1400s up till uh, 1617. There were several different owners and of course, you know, fortifications started off small and just got, you know, expanded upon each time. Now, in 1617, it was the Naruse clan who were in charge of the castle and I should point out a pretty special story about the castle and this clan and that is that when uh, the Meiji Emperor took control of Japan, Domains were abolished and uh, castles were, you know, decommissioned all over the place. Buildings were sold off. A bit of a sad thing if you're a castle lover, but hey, you know, life was happening for these people. Things had to happen. And um, yeah, so the castle was surrendered to the Meiji Emperor. Now, fortunately, if I can say that, there was an earthquake in, I think, the early 1900s or late 1800s to be accurate <laughs> 1891 it could have been anyway damage was done and the emperor said hey i'll give you back the castle if you can spend money and repair it and that's what happened now the naruse clan hung on to the castle to until 2004 unheard of you know i think this is the only castle that remained in private ownership for so long so pretty amazing now let me just take you through a quick walkthrough. Ah, on the way to the castle you'll see uh, manhole covers. That's a, a nice thing to keep an eye out for on the way to the castle. And when you get to the castle then you've got to start climbing. It is a hilltop castle so there's like a, you know, like a driveway you have to walk up. And you'll see some old buildings or old styled buildings on the way. Nothing too impressive. My feeling is that these are modern reconstructions, you know, that look old. So um, anyway. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And then when you enter, I think you need to pay 500 yen, which is not steep at all. Um, yeah, and then when you get to the main tower itself, you need to put some slippers on. And then you're in the basement, right? So the stone walled, and some of the wood beams are just beautiful, like they're, they're beautifully carved, and they've got the patina of age. They should be quite blackish, which um, and sometimes glossy or shiny. It's, it's really an amazing thing. Amazing. So then you work your way up, up those steep stairs for several floors and I think there is a room in there. Now, I should point out that main towers of Japanese castles are not residences, alright? Basically they're a storehouse, they're the last point of um, defence. So it should be stores, ammunition, arms, armour, food, you know, depending on whatever crisis is happening. But um, it is not a residence is what I want to point out. So, but there is a plainly decorated room there okay so let's keep going up 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 and uh, when you get to the top it's pretty crowded now i've been to a few castles and people get it once they get to the top they stop and they got to relax and they got to take a breath because it's uh, it's hard work getting up there and uh, the view is amazing there's the river there and uh, you got to be careful you don't lean on the rail because uh there is no rail yeah they're doing some restoration work which is a common thing when you visit a Japanese castle. They're always doing restoration work. And in fact, I went to another castle that was very, very old, Bichu Matsuyama actually, and I couldn't enter it at all because of restoration work. So in this case, I guess I was lucky that I could still do that. Okay, ah, now there is another building, another old building. It's not located at the castle. You have to walk quite a few kilometers away. And I do forget the train station that it's near, but it's a relocated old gate. Eh, pretty simple construction, but you know, it is legitimately old. So, you know, I'm, I'm interested. Okay, well, I will leave it there. No question of the day because I don't do that here. But uh, do check out the website, was, uh, so not, not Wasabi Cars. Do check out the Japanese Castle Explorer website. And uh, do check out Wasabi Cars. Look, that's my main thing. And I'm pretty active on Facebook 
on Wasabi Cars. So links below, of course. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. Goodbye.